stories I would love to share with you at the end. If you have time, stay with us. If not, oh, uh, maybe you'll catch one later. So we've got a couple stories. Uh, they're kind of funny stories, actually. So I do. I owe cigarette ice cream and chocolate Oreos. <laughs> Don't send ice cream. Don't send ice cream, please. Oh, tell Fifi her box will be there next week. Okay, Joey. Of course it is. Joe, I will. Sit's not hurting. Sit's got enough here that she doesn't need. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm shocked when Sigrid said we had so many boxes. It's like, what? When I left, there was one box. Um, Boy, I don't know. If, if I'm going to try Sigrid or Skeetikins. <laughs> Um, I bet we can do it, Skeetikins. Yeah, because um, I've got those two stories, so I can't dawdle too much longer. So let's get started, and, and I'll hustle, okay? And Skeetikins, if it gets, I will really try it. It shouldn't take an hour. No way. Hey, and but, did everybody hear the news? Yeah, Cindy Lou, week four, yay, belongs to us. Belongs to the Rescue Center. So we did okay. get... Um, the Animal Planet um, most votes in the fourth week of the third quarter. So yay, 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 yay. Today it was crazy. You know, we thought we won it, and then we heard they took it off. And then we thought we won it, and then they took it off. It went back and forth all day till I finally quit looking because I was afraid to. And um, But we did. We won, we won, we won. Did you know that, Judy? No. Yeah, we got it. We got it. So that's a thousand dollars. Cool. Yay. Rock. Actually notify you? They don't. They, I know the same way they do until the check comes. So it's ours. It's ours. It's ours. It's ours. It's ours. So we can start labor of love. Yep. And you know what? We should be able to do that for Lisa. Did you want to run her back? Because um, we can't win state. At least this is how I understand it. We can't win state. So we already got labor of love in second place so they'll delete us at the end of us having um ohio state or ohio state haha uh -huh. and um then they'll give it to alol so pretty cool pretty cool so let's vote 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 keep on voting yeah thank you guys this this win is because of you you guys volunteers voting and you webcam people voting yeah, yeah. Okay, let's rock and roll here. This one is from WAG.com, and I had no idea these. Uh, we were going to have this many boxes, so I have not checked my emails. Besides, I am so far behind on my emails, I could almost cry about it. Oh, sorry. Oh, that might be okay, but it's Oh, I know who this is. Um, let me grab a name so I can give the right proper So all these wave ones, I think, are going to be from um, from our friend Betty, and and yeah, she also yeah wave. Oh, this is wave too. Yeah, this is from our friend Betty, and I think that there's a few of these in this lot. And uh, she asked me one day, yeah, what we needed, and I said, well, we could sure use some litter. And um, so she sent up litter, so I appreciate it. Yeah, this will help big time. So what we're doing out there in Cat's Cove is we are using and so and people's been asking me about and I might we might as well just discuss it. Some people's been asking me about the world's best litter and oh and uh. We use it <laughs> half and half at Cat's Cove, but in here, what, what we found out was that uh, with all the little paws and all the big paws that come in here, it's uh, too crumbly, and we were finding even... <laughs> There's a kitty. 
idea. We were finding that with um, so many kitties getting in the litter boxes, even though we scoop, you know, at least every two hours, that the clumps were just falling apart. And then that makes a really big mess. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Cigarette, those are really heavy. So in here, we've gone back to re our regular litter. And I'm really sorry, but you know what? All that litter, all that voting you guys did has not gone to waste because we um, still use it out there in Cat's Cove. And, oh, hey, oh, sorry, that's going to be heavy. And you all remember, a lot of you might remember Jane from Lima. Remember, she does the dog and cat rescue over there. She was very short on money. So, um... The rescue center uh, donated a few of those bags for her, and she desperately, big time needed it, and was extremely grateful. So she doesn't have the have the quantity of cats that we do. So we did we put it to good use, and we still use it out there in Cat's Cove. But in here, there was just so many, um, so many cats getting into it that it was breaking down the the balls a pee and just squishing them so that when we scooped it just was nothing. So we are still making good use of it though. So that's good. That's good. Hey Perjeron, you better scoop, dude. Oh <laughs> so that's why we have so many. Betty, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How many boxes is this so far? I've lost track. See, now if we cut back on the food, um, <laughs> if we cut back on the feeding, then we wouldn't have to have so much litter. Should we try that, kitties? You know, if we ever did that, oh, I'm sorry, meow. I'm sorry. You know who would be the first one to complain about no food? Anybody got a guess? I bet you some of you know. <laughs> There's two of them. There's two obvious ones. Graciela, too. Yeah. Yeah, Graciela. She is so darn cute. When she's hungry, and she's hungry a lot, she comes right up and she plumps her little bottom down on the floor and gives this most pitiful, meow, meow. And uh, just acts like she's just dying of hunger. So, yeah, Zavitar, or, uh, Gracie, you never have to worry about when that she's walking around with a hungry tummy because she tells us. Wow. Okay, so I lost track of how many boxes that was, but those are all from Betty. Betty, thank you. I appreciate it. And then this one is from that. Oh, this is from Wade's, too. Oh, 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 oh. This is from Priscilla G. From Priscilla G. So now we change gears. It's still from Way. And this is another thing that we use a lot of. And these are those cool airbags. It's like a balloon. I'm always afraid it's going to pop. These are baby food jars. Oh, you what, Octavia? Octavia says, I would like a little bit of that. You know, some of these kitties, we've been sending a little bit of um, one jar of baby food home with the new owners. Um, just with some of the kitties. And it's really kind of cool because, ooh, I'm always afraid they're going to pop. Because the owners, when I when I hear back from them, ooh, will say how much the kitty and they love it. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool that it's a good bonding thing, I think. Oh, wow, those old friends. Yeah. Well, you need to use the thing then. Here. Let me get rid of that. Okay, I'll pop the bubbles. <laughs> So from Priscilla, 
we got four cases of baby food. And Priscilla, I appreciate that so much. And so does Bella. And so does Kiera. And so do all the babies. And Darlin. Darlin's just sitting here looking at it. So thank you, Priscilla. And they and all those glass jars arrived here safely. Safely. Where are you going, girl? Hi, Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Yeah. I think Steve might get that one. This one is from well, it came from Amazon, and we do have a paper. Oh, this came from Medic. You know, Medic is from Laura H. Remember, once a month she sends us two cases of Fancy Feast, and this is her contribution. And there's one, and maybe that one up there looks like the same thing, maybe. <laughs> There's kitties in there. I'm going to pet you. This is the second one from Maddie. Yep, it is. So, Maddie, thank you. And you know what? Uh, oh, you can see it here. I'm not hey, sure. I think, it's, I think it's Sunday and Monday. Maddie and her mom, Belinda, will be here. Um, they come maybe here for three months and they stay one night with us and they're here in defiance and just love big time on the kitties. So they, they always have a whole bunch of fun. So Medic and her mama, I, I, it's, her name is Belinda, will, I'm pretty sure it's this coming Sunday and Monday. With all the litter? Yeah. <laughs> that will be super duper good, though. Okay. Uh, how are you? Are you doing good? Uh, you're such a, such a beauty, aren't you? You're such a beauty. This is a box that came on Monday, but the family that sent this asked us to wait till uh, Wednesday. And it's from Kurzweil, our friend Kurzweil. And she says, it's so nice to see Sizzle and Faylene go off to a good home. Hey, and speaking of Faylene, we'll switch over to Faylina. Remember, she was adopted yesterday? Remember Faylina? Um, I already heard back from him. Yes. And awesome. He loves, loves, loves her already. And he had some questions, very good questions. And I was very happy that he asked. He was just wanted to make sure certain toys were safe for um, Faylene. And so that was a that was a really nice thing. Or Faylina. Yeah, so what do you want to do about that? Um, they can go in there in the bathroom either in the cabinet or the cupboard. Either one. So this is from our friend Kurzweil. And it says, Dear Jackie and Kitties, especially Magenta and Farah. Hi, Nutmeg here, and Kurzweil is scribing. Amber is too busy sleeping on the screen porch to help write this letter today. The demon domino <laughs> is up in the window and too busy keeping our world safe from invaders to be of any help either. Mom has been watching the kitties for a while now, and we have spent some lap time watching as well. I wanted to thank a black and white cat named Magenta. Magenta! She's talking about you, girl. She has helped me greatly in training our mom regarding feeding elderly cats. It used to be when I would meow for food, she would look at me and say, I fed you an hour ago. You cannot be hungry. And she would go on about her business. After watching Magenta's technique on her counter, I have learned the plaintive stare and meow, and now mom jumps to the food cupboard and searches out special treats for me. I have decided I like Magenta a lot even though she looks just like the demon domino. <laughs> you know, um, Magenta has this down pat. You know, she can eat and eat, and five minutes later she can look at us again, and it's like, oh, Magenta, are you hungry? 
so we feed her again, and she's still under five pounds. Amber would like to thank a white cat named Vera. Where is Vera tonight? I am not sure, but we have to give her her meds, too. Amber is currently taking oops, antibiotics for a urinary infection and has appreciated the pill avoidance <laughs> techniques that Vera has demonstrated. She has not been successful in avoiding the pill yet, but it is appreciative of the efforts Vera shows. Oh, that girl, that Vera, she's darn good about hiding from her meds. And she knows that's when she's out here. I turn my back on her now when I try to get the meds out because she sees it and boom, she's gone. We watch the current pile of goodies being sent to boxes. Boxes must have a big appetite. More of our appetizers are being sent again. Sigh. However, I have checked the food cupboard and we still have plenty, so I guess boxes can have them. By the way, which one, which of the kitties we are watching is boxes? <laughs> Amber thinks it is the big gray and white one, but I heard someone call him Filbert. <laughs> That's cute. Anyway, Mom wants to wish belated happy birthday to the Patties and Badu. Badu! And Hank. She also wishes to say hi to the Kobe's and the Barney's. Yours, Nutmeg, for Kurzweil. And I guess for Amber and the Demon Domino, too. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. And Nutmeg, you make sure your mama gives you a big old hug for us. Oh, are these? Oh, these are fantastic. Um. Oh man, this is great. Uh, pocket, pocket folders here. Oh, every new project we start, we do new, oh, look at those, new pocket folders. And I was looking one today for the Earth Angels thing. So we'll take one of these out. And then Saturday is our first uh, big planning meeting. Well, no, actually our second planning meeting for um, cat stock. So we'll use another one of those for that too. Thank you, Kurzweil. And then we have our wonderful poopy bay. People are good to send them. Wow, take a look at this. There's a little bit of everything in here. I think we'll start with, oh, with the band-aids. We had a high demand of band-aids last week. There are the Angry Birds, two Angry Birds band-aids. <laughs> I went in town and I had four different band-aids on me. I felt like a silly person, but I kept them on. Oh, and our reinforcement labels. This goes in um, the desk or the left-hand drawer of my desk in the office there. Thank you, thank you. We use those for every health record. And then we have the appetizers. And goodness gracious, there must be I don't know, 15 of them maybe. I'm just guessing. I wonder if we have room. No, I think we're going to have to put these back there in the cupboard back there. So maybe, okay. Oh, um, we can put these uh, back. Why, we can actually use this whole box back there in the storage room. And then when we empty this out, today's, today's Wednesday on Friday, I'll use this box to, box to restock them. Clorox wipes. And you know we use a lot of those. We we use those all the time. So we're going to leave the we're going to put the appetizers back in here because when I restock on Friday I'll use all this. There's three containers uh, or ba bags of um, Temptation the cat snackers. And goodness sakes, there's a whole bunch of these appetizers. There's a box of appetizers in the cat room. Oh yeah, could put them in there in the cat donkey's room. Are you, you gonna take them out? They're not going in the box. Um, yeah, we can put them back in. And then there's one, two, three, four, a dozen. I think there's two. There's a whole case of assorted friskies. Kurzweil, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it did not hit a kitty. That was that was a thing. That came kind of close, didn't it? Okay. Yeah, it did. Are you okay? Which was that Graciela too? Graciela, you smelling food? And look at this. No dog. Pet hair dryer. This is nice. Oh my gosh. This is nice. Yeah. Four speed. Thank you for this. Wow. 
Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. Yeah. I yeah. know what you're saying. Oh, I'll bet I am so sweaty right now. You don't even want Yeah, this is for the kitty bags. You know what? So, and I know I did not say this out loud, but that dryer that's out there, it just goes, <laughs> and it's not warming her. It's cool air. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love this color. Hey, look at that. Kurzweil, thank you for this. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Kurzweil, thank you. This is cool. You know what? Oh, this is nice. And it's got the, the heat one on there. Thank you. This will be well, well used in Thumper's room. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't it be kind of cool to wet one of the, to bathe one of the patties and then poof them up or um, putter? Ooh, we'd have a cat looks like three feet wide. Okay, thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Appreciate this so much. Oh, look at the core, too. It's really extra long. Oh, nice. Oh, this is really, really nice because when we dry them in the thumper room where our one switch is by the counter, the cord that we were using does not reach where the cages are. This cord will. Yeah, this is really nice. Appreciate that very much. This <laughs> guy is stuck. Come here, let me get you out. would be our little... Whoops, nice. Oh, that's on my right. Oh, my oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I think you've stolen a few this week. Oh, oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Obadiah. They're nuts tonight. It's the oh, heat. Oh, my gosh. Who is this from? <gasps> this is from Auntie Bantry. Auntie Bantry. Hey, Bantry, thank you. I think you're, yep, you're right. Yeah. I think that means that Obadiah wants to come home with you. Hey, is Tippy and Trailer on? Tippy and Trailer, you want? Whoops. Look at him. He's going crazy. No. I don't think Tippy, okay. Tippy and Trailer, okay. I bet I you she's working. I to say something to oh, we got a card. Snail mail. <laughs> Bantry, you're pretty funny. <laughs> so, Bantry said, um, oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, Bantry. She sent some uh, kitty snackers. And look at these big balls. The fuzzy wuzzy balls. Every once in a while, probably like once or twice a week, I'll go through, oh, the kitty toys. And, uh oh, you guys, slow down. And uh, discard some. <laughs> I went through some today and it's like, oh my gosh, they were broken and slobbery, sticky, and just gross after a while. Here, you guys, you can have some new toys. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. Thanks, Landry, for giving those to them. And then we have, we have a whole bunch of stuff in here. Oh, the posty notes. I just said yesterday again, don't ever take the posty notes away or the tape. Oh, and some more mousy toys. <laughs> and, oh, the binder clips. Oh, these will come in big time handy for the uh, Earth Angel fundraiser, too. We already, we'll, we'll put those in with the with the folders. Hey you. And then uh Bantry, I love books. Oh look at this. Toto the tornado kitten. Jonathan Hall. Join Toto the kitten on this true and adventurous journey. Born in the woods in a small town of Brimfield, Massachusetts, he is suddenly blown away by a tornado right up into the top of a tree. Meet his friends and follow along as he loses his old home but finds a new one. Uh, to, oh, Toto's true story would not have been possible without the help of the Animal Rescue League of Boston and their rescue services team. 100% of the proceeds from this book will go towards their continued effort in animal ad advocacy and care. Put your paws on your keyboard and check them out at 
and it gives a website. That is cool. Oh, Pantry, this is awesome. Thank you. That is really neat. I guess sometimes we need to, maybe we need to have a little children's library here in addition to our little book library that we have in the bathroom. Because we've gotten a few books, um, and uh, two loons that also brought us a couple books. I think we might have to do that. Pantry, thank you. And then there's one more package here, and then we have a box. Ooh, what is all this? Oh, is that that's for Karen? Oh, Roy. Oh, Bantry. That's cool. Karen will just be tickle pink. That's one of her colors too. That uh, she she does like that color. And Lisa. Oh, this one says love, adore, admire, treasure, respect. Revere, cherish, and adopt. Oh, Andre, she is going to love this. That's cool. That That's perfect. Yeah. Re repeat after me. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Kate. Is Kate on? And, oh, Andre. Oh, and it's a purple. <laughs> look at that. It says, nap like you mean it. Oh, look at that. Oh, heck, yeah, really? Doc said that? Oh, my gosh, hi, Kate. Isn't that cool? Bantry, thank you. That is so very sweet. I love this. Yes, it is. It's World Cat Day today. <laughs> Do I, should I say it again? Oh my gosh, hi Kate. Pantry, thank you. These are cool. And I will leave this one out to give it to Lisa in the morning. And I will take these in um, for Karen and for my shirt. Thank you. Is this some? Um, just some. Um, yeah. Yep. What is it with the boxes tonight? Oh my golly, you guys. Ugh. Can I see this? What's the matter? I'm not sure. Ooh. Says, Welcome to the Pet Best Family, packed with love and care by Danny. I think this is from Carol S. Carol, Leah, be careful. Carol S. in California. Yeah, I think this is Carol S. Yeah, Royal Cannon. Okay. Ooh, let's start with. Oh. We just did win at something like this earlier today. The cats love these. They only get these at very rarely. Roasted chicken. It's freeze dried catnips. Cat treats. And uh, I better not open that yet because it's still got the seal on that. The cats love these. 100% natural. Um, I think I'm going to hide these so I can use them as playground snacks. I'll put them in pin 5. And then that way when I do nighttime stuff, I will have them. Okay. okay. And oh, look at this, and they send me kitty. They send a friend. Uh oh. Oops, there he is. Come on, why'd you wake up and come to Auntie? Um, a him. Did it come off? Oh, it did. Right there it is. Come on, baby. And Carol also sent on oh, there's a trial a sample. Carol also sent the Royal Cannon Kitten. I believe, is that one Kitty? 
kitten too? Let's check. Yeah, she had asked me what kind of cat food we needed, and I told her dry kitty food. So, royal can and kitten. Love this. The kitten was over it. In, the, in the cupboard. Yep. And then this one is Karina one, and it's also a, a kitty one. Thank you, Carol. Appreciate that. This will go. This will help us a lot. I mix all this, the kitty, uh, um, different kinds together. Thank you for that. Uh oh. Oh, you guys, you kitties. Yes, you got some dry food. Carol, thank you for that. That that helps replenish our dry kitty. So I appreciate that. And we have a Hannah. You want to say hi? You're so good until I hold you up to the cam. Then you become a little cranky girl. All right. Here. Why don't you guys play with that? Thank you, everyone. What a really awesome day. Bunches of wonderful food things and items for the rescue center. Good friends out there. And um, and we won. Cool. I got to grab my book here real quick. Where did that book go, Badu? I wanted to um, tell you about a couple stories. Are you all done? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm so hot. Um, there's that chicken in there. Okay. Yeah, also, there's something in there. Oh, good. That was good. Yeah. And I'm going to take the boxes out. Okay. Or well, if you just leave them there, we'll take them out. No, I can get them. I'll, I'll get all the boxes. Like, okay. I'm just going to. Oh. And. To Rachel. Yeah. We should. What should we get that? Yeah, I can get them. Um, let's grab them while we know where he's at. Come here. Come here, give Rachel. They're sitting there so cute. And do we know where Graciela is? Look at this. Look at that belly on on him. Oops. Okay, I know that's Graciela. Because there's my friends out there. There's my friends. Do you want to? No, I'll take it in tonight. I mean, what well, you remember? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Are you going to go there? I'll find around to yell on for her and. Do they need a, need a um, we usually put a rug on the floor so he can grip, although he's doing pretty good with the floor. I've got a rug right here. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to get started. So, <laughs> oh, Bub Bucks, we don't want you to do that. These are good stories. One of them is a very funny story. And, um, yeah, these are good stories. And they're all good stories because they all have good Indians on them. So, that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> so, as you know, we're continuing our, our uh, Feliz Navidad fun for the uh, Earth Angel fundraiser. And, um, yeah, I agree, love bugs. And hi, pets. And um, I'm just kind of blown away by what's already happened. Uh, we were going to actually plan on some, this coming Sunday night being when we were going to say the first monies that had come in through pet finders and or um, checks or, or uh, money orders. And uh, you guys have responded so well that we did do an update last night. When I'm done with these two stories, 
I'll go get the new update. And I have not looked all day. I've been, I think I looked early, early this morning, but I have not looked all day. And I, I want to be surprised too with you. So if you are interested in helping with our fundraiser for all medical reasons, uh, if you go to our website, fofrescue.org, uh, there is a, um, a little picture caption uh, called Earth Angels. It's of a heart with our logo in it. Just click on that and it'll take you to, yeah, Eric. It'll take us take you right to the um, our own website's pet finder, and pet finder is safe. You just have to use uh, your credit card if you're not set up with it yet. It's a very safe one. That's the only one I ever feel really safe about doing. So um, we'll just keep keep updating you all each night and um, giving you giving you the the newer total. I do want to say today though that I forgot this one. I wanted to mention. Um, and is Skeetikin still on? Skeetikin, can you still write down a couple? Well, you know what, Ski, you don't really have to do these because I've got them written down on paper. So, but you could add their names so as a reminder to me. Um, Shelly and Val were here, you know, yesterday and today. They left today with their kitties. And they brought litter, baby food, and kitten um, cans of uh, kitty food. Yeah, so big time uh, thanks to Shelly and Val. Val's already called and the two cats are doing awesome. And then Maya, or Maya, uh, Shelly's daughter, with her own money, bought a case of Friskies with cheese in it and two snacker bags and uh, 14 cans of Friskies, a uh, special kind of Friskies that her cats like. And what was that other one? Porchies. Oh, and uh, snacks for the porchies, I think it was. So that was from Maya, which I thought was very sweet that she used her own money. And, uh, I think there should be Moose Player in our YouTube. And then um, today, we had two really nice visitors again, or today. It's just so nice to have these people come. Um, it's Kathy and Laura, her uh, mom and daughter. And they brought a really cute cuddle sack. I'm not sure where it is, but bon, uh, Bravo loves it. And some canned food, cat snackers, appetizers, uh, pouches of food, some toys, and some baby food. So that came from, that's it. Yeah, it was, it was Bravo, and it, it crinkles, and Bravo, Bravo likes it. Oh, what did it matter? What did it matter? Is your ear okay? And so that's from Kathy and Laura. And then yesterday we had um, another mom and daughter came, and they brought uh, five five um, sheets, I think it was, for us to use. And also the daughter, she was an adult daughter, had a birthday, and she asked her family not to get her anything, that if they wanted to do anything in recognition of her birthday to um donate money to the rescue center so she brought an envelope with money in it for us so that was pretty cool and then in case you did it here uh what are you doing in case you didn't hear uh greg had a garage sale and uh oh do you have a name it's kelly s and apache e kelly s and apache e E is her beginning of her last name. And then um, Greg today brought in an envelope with some money in it from a garage sale that he had. Uh, we have a route around here. It's 127. It's supposed to be the world's longest garage sale. They have it annually, and it was this past weekend, and Greg had some things in there that was for the, uh, for the, for the rescue center. So that was pretty cool. Jazz. So um, wanted to tell you two stories since it's so late already. Um, they kind of tie in with each other a little bit and one of them was really a tough one and one of them's a kind of funny one. This one that's in here, uh, some of you have already heard, but since we have so many new people, I wanted to read it again because it's, it's it was kind of embarrassing to me. They, they think Judy has food. 
Um, so you all, a lot of you out there will remember our little kitty squirt. Do any of you remember squirt, squirty? This is a little white kitty. Yeah, pets does. Yeah, Canton does. Canton loves squirt. Yeah, squirt was a pretty cool kitty. <laughs> That's right, stinky. Um, squirt was a little bitty white cat that came in and and uh, he was really a little kitty and when these people brought him in I remember <laughs> that they had him wrapped up in a towel and when we took and they said that he smelled and that something was on his bottom they didn't know what it was and when I unwrapped him this little thing must have had diarrhea for quite some time and the poor bum on this babe was so scalded so so eroded away that we had to soak and soak and soak and get I call them poop balls for lack of better better words um, this hunk of I'll just say it, it was just a hunk of poop there on this bottom that was just stuck and we we soaked and soaked this bottom and when we finally got it off I realized how bad it was it was really really sad wasn't it and I will never forget that poor baby the bottom on that little boy was so galled and so horribly eroded that it was just awful. Tissue was gone. Um, it just looked like, at first I had even kind of wondered if at first it had a bite wound and somebody just took a hunk of tissue and skin away from this. So, yeah, this little thing was so sad, so painful. And so we got it all off as best we could. Unfortunately, the kitty kept having diarrhea for a while yet before we got it under control, with which just further irritated that area. And and I'm not talking just a mild erosion of that back area. We're talking it was really bad. And I remember well, we kept it on antibiotics and soreness meds. And I remember the first time that I took her to the vet to be checked because it was so bad. They, I, will, I remember this, and some of you guys might too, that, yeah, it was like a burned away butt. Um, they had suggested euthanasia because it was so severe and it looked like parts were missing. It was awful. And, but the kitty was eating, and it was like, we can't, we can't put this little baby down, it's eating. So we kept working, and, and a lot of you might recall in the seats over there, you, were you here at school? I soaked his you did. Lot. You soaked his butt a lot. So we would put um, warm water, soapy water, in this, the yellow bucket that we have over there. And he, we would just soak him in there because it was so awful. And we soaked and we soaked him, and then we would pat. We did that probably two, three times every day for a long time. And um, the second time that the vet saw it, it was like still you know, what's going to happen if it does heal? It's going to not be, this kitty is probably not going to be able to go potty. Well, and as it was, um, we did have to, by, by soaking and bathing it, that's when the kitty was able to pee. Um, it just relaxed enough for it to go potty. So um, time went on, and uh, things started healing, and but it took weeks for this to heal. And uh, I will never forget, that when I took Kitty into the clinic, into our clinic that we had, Earth Angels, our, our spay neuter clinic, uh, all this time we had thought that squirt was a boy because parts were missing. And when we got this little boy on the table to do the, do the castration, Dr. Cindy said um, she was looking for the parts to neuter and there were, we had thought that the erosion had eroded, eroded away the scrotum because it eroded away a lot of the tissue back there and there wasn't anything there to remove and then we got looking and kind of pulling part, things apart a little bit realized that squirt was a squirt of leaning and so it turned out yeah it was it's a miracle it was a girl <laughs> so we had to change tac tactics at um, surgery time and uh, go from a castration to a spade but that is how bad that bottom was on her was we were all thought that it was a, a 
boy who all that tissue was just eroded away. And you know what's cool about that is that kitty, that girl was adopted. We waited quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> we waited quite some time before we would let her be adopted and by the time that I felt good about her being adopted um, everything was healed beautifully and you know the vets kept saying uh, that bottom is never going to have proper peeing power well that kitty could that kitty peed just as regular as anything else I uh, know she didn't. I don't believe she had blue eyes. I don't remember her having the blue eyes. Um, so it was a she all along. It's just that everything was so horribly eroded there. We didn't know, but he was. She was adopted, and the family that adopted her was well aware of um, what happened to her. But we told him, you know, I think we kept her weeks afterwards, and she was just fine. She potty just fine. I will have to look for a picture of, of Squirt. I probably have one somewhere, but I ran out of time today. Thank if you. You get an appointment, and you need someone to take that cat over. Okay. I appreciate that. Big time. Just give me a call. Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, Squirt was so fun because, uh, yeah, and that, that was the, I will, I will remember. I will. I can see that getting microwaved. Well, it wasn't her tummy, it was her butt. Um, I don't know if it was just because of severe diarrhea that just kept, and then peeing inside the poop ball. All that urine on there just eroded away and galled that whole area. It just ate the skin. It was really awful. It was really awful. Worst, worst um, bottom problem I've ever seen. Um, but it was because of people caring and people who helped us financially be able to do what we needed to do for her. Thank you, Queen. Thank you for getting that. Yeah, this, yeah, this, that, that was a pretty, pretty nasty case, but she, she did it. She, she made it. She came in like that. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right, Reverend. Um, stool as well with the hot poopy ball and then every time she would pee that urine just was caked on there and uh, why nobody took care of that for I have no idea but that was a very success story that there were times that I wasn't even sure that she was going to make it because it was so bad and, and it was the pain factor you know but we we can handle the pain here um, with our medicines but gosh it, it was just sad so he, she was a doll. It had to be. So this next story is the one that's embarrassing to me. I mean, it's funny, but I have to crack up every time I laugh or every time I read this. And I oh, I think I've only read this story once, maybe twice, but it's been a little while. And since we have so many new people with us and we're doing our Earth Angels, I wanted to read it again. It's the story of Chance. <laughs> and Chance was a, a beige and white tiger cat that came in. And um, he came in. He was big and kind of, not kind of, but very grouchy. Chance is the one who, one of my big scars on my legs is from this cat. Bravo! Bravo! Are you hungry? Are you hungry, well, boy? They're all like acting like they haven't eaten. I'll give them some snackers. And Pam just yeah. I'll them. give them some snackers. What time was that that she fed him? Like six, fifteen or yeah. Something? He'll be okay. We'll give you some snacks. Oh, I think he is. Hungry. Yeah, he wants food right now. He said, "I'm not waiting around." We'll get him. We'll get him fed. So well, this he wants food. He so, wants food now. So Chance came in, and Chance was a grumpy boy. He was a big beige and white cat. And, uh, you know, one of the first things we do is a leukemia and FIV test. He did not like that. And then in checking him over, when I tried to lift the tail to make see if he was neutered, whatever, he just went absolutely berserk, absolutely berserk, and just would not let me look under that tail. But it was flat, so in trying to be safe of my hands not being bitten, I called him a, a, that he was an already neutered boy. Well, this is the story of Chance. 
Once there was a handsome cat that KC found. She brought it to FFRC for us to babysit. Well, she she um she actually found him, but she's a daughter of a volunteer, and so what she really wanted was for us to keep him until she moved into a new house months later. So that was the plan. She brought it to FFRC for us to babysit until she could take him to a new home in February. He was determined to be a male because he was such he was determined to be a male because he was such a very large cat and also due to his color. The majority of golden cream cats are males. It's like eighty percent. He also had that big male cat face. He had a big huge face. He was given the name of Chance and so his life at FFRC began. As time went on, he grew very comfortable here. His new mom and dad visited him frequently, as did his grandma. About six weeks after his arrival, we all noticed he sure loved to eat, and so his tummy grew and grew. We all made comments on his growing body. This cat became bigger than big. Suddenly, one day, while being petted, someone felt a little movement. Could it possibly be that he was a she? No way could this be, insisted Jackie. He's a boy for sure. A few days later, more movement was felt on his abdomen. Jackie said, it's just gas. As much as he eats, that's what it has to be. A quick look under his tail, and it had to be quick as he was very, very touchy about modesty, still determined that he was a he. One particular day, Chance had a rather upsetting day. He had been poked and bothered by a big dog. We had also taken another quick look under his tail, and he was still a he. He'd had enough. He lashed out at Jackie and his mom. What was the matter with him? And when I say lashed out, that's when he, he just, he really lashed out. What was the matter with him? He seemed awfully touchy and protective lately. But why should he be acting so out of sorts? We just couldn't figure it out. One night, as Jackie was turning off lights and telling all the kitties good night, she stopped to pet Chance. As her hand rested on his tummy, a big bump was felt. Wow, that was a big bubble of gas. Or could it be something else? No, he's still a boy. We definitely do not need any more kitties here. We have enough. Another week went by. His nipples started showing more. Maybe could it be he was just so fat his skin was stretching? Doubts really started creeping in. He was absolutely huge by now. I swear he started waddling. He either had to go on a diet or have that tummy checked for a possible tumor. Another look under his tail. The weirdest thing of all seemed to have happened. It was a feline medical astounding miracle. He, right in front of me, turned into a she. How amazing of a thing to happen. It was amazing. Chance does not want to go down to medical his miracles, though. The only thing he, excuse me, she, asked for is to have those kitties as soon as possible. And most of all, she has asked that no one harass Jackie about this miracle. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was really embarrassing. <laughs> Very embarrassing. So what happened was this cat went into labor. Um water burst and then maybe it's because we told her she he was a he all this time i ended up having to take him in for an emergency c-section he had two babies one was named macy and one was named marshall one was black and one was gold that happened in 2002 yeah yeah i had some news for him yeah i was so terribly embarrassed and do you think that they anybody here would let me live that down no, I still get reminded of that every once in a while, especially when it came to, to Squirt, Squirtalina. Uh, I got reminded of that all over again. So those are two, two good stories. <laughs> yeah, I know when we, when we had our spay-neuter clinic, oh, it wasn't anything unusual maybe once a week to have a he come in and it be a she or vice versa. She had two kitties. Yep, a little black one and a little gold one. You know, um, somebody asked a very good question of me today. And uh, I lost all my notes, but I can wing it. Um, asked me a very good question today. And I, and I thought it was a 
good question to explain a little bit because um, it, it deserved a really good answer, I thought. Uh, no, at, well, while, while she was um, in all that hormonal stage, then I could do it, but not after that. Yeah, that's the cat that gave me a few scars. <laughs> so, so the question that I was asked, and you all could um, maybe asking this yourself. I had somebody ask me, and as I said, it's a very good question. When we had the catathon, um, we had a lot of people sponsor cats. And those were for, some of them were for the rescue center's cats. Some was for um, the Kobe's. Some it was for the um, porch kitties. And some, bless your hearts for this, was for the Barneys, for the barn cats. And so the question was, wasn't wasn't that money? Because you know that was a that was some a few thousand dollars that was raised that way. Wasn't that money to be used for medical things and things for the cats? And I thought about that, and that that is a good question. And so I wanted to explain about that. Is all the money that came in um, come came in for the catathon under the catathon name, of course? And we did pay off the um, parking lot, as you know, which was awesome. And that's right, Kitty Kitty City got a whole new drainage system. It's, it, that parking lot literally has saved Kitty City. But um, Come on, Janie. so, okay, so back up. So on the kitties, we did pay off that the parking lot, and we also, in sending out all the things, it cost us probably three thousand um, dollars. I think it was like three thousand one hundred and something dollars for postage. That seems like a lot, but compared to our the whole big picture of what we raised, that was that was little. And we tried to do our postage as cheap as possible, which I think we did a really good job on that. And um, and so, so we we did good on that. So, but that was three thousand one hundred also off of that, and so that had to come off of the total of all that. But what what I wanted to stress was, you know, when you think about it, and we did, we knew a lot of that money was supposed to be for the, those certain cats. Everybody that donated money for a sponsorship, other than unless they requested that we didn't have to send them a picture, got a paw o graph picture as well. But this is the thing, you know, not including these kitties, we have uh, 17 Cats Cove, we have um, six Porchies, so that's 23. We have, um, I think it's 10, 16, 6, that's 22, right? We have um, 10 cats that we call the barn cats and the gray cat, the gray barn cats. So, so that's 32 cats that's outside of here that we take care of. And yes, we do get behind on their things too, but we were able to also catch up on them. Um, so what that helped us do was to uh, remember we had one of those cats had to have a dental, and we had Big Al that had to have that big time ear surgery, right? And Big Al had a major bite wound, and today he had another bite wound we had to take care of. And then um, it covers, since the catathon, we've done two wormings on 33 cats. And since the catathon, they've had two flea preventions each. So that's 66 flea preventions right there. So, you know, the money does go fast. So I just wanted to explain that we... We try really, I know, that's right, Hank had that really bad spot too that we had to, t had to take care of. It is, it's very expensive to keep up all of this. So I just, you know, but, but the thing is, we try very hard to keep all our money straight, but my, my promise to you is that every penny that we get is wisely used. It is wisely used for this whole, whole picture. And, um, we're just so very careful and so frugal, and we try so very hard to try to um, make ends meet as cheaply as we can, but without 
um, shorting the kitties on any of the medical needs. So even though we have a large numbers in here, we still have the 32 count that's out there. So, um, but the other thing is on that is if anybody ever questions anything, or not questions, but just has a, uh, has a, que has a question or a concern, or just plain wants to know, I'm, I am always open. I'm very honest with things. And you ask, and I will try my best to get an answer. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank you. But I'm, I am always open to questions. I, I always am. All you have to do is send, send me an email. But right now, I'm way behind on my emails. I'm terribly behind. I'm trying to catch up. Yeah, those cats are cool out there, aren't they? Thanks, Pat. So you, thank you guys. So you all know what a week from today is, right? Oh, Ruth, hang on and I'll tell you that. Bravo surgery. I'm telling you, we've weathered through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of surgeries here <clears throat> and um, this one has me my heart just starts pitter pattering I'm gonna go up with I'm gonna take gravel and I'm gonna stay up there the whole time so I'm not gonna be here much next Tuesday what next Wednesday but what I can do is as I get updates I can um, text uh, one of our mods and have keep you guys up to date oh you guys are way too good um, so we'll keep you updated a week from today. And I did weigh him, <laughs> and, and uh, he was 212, 212. So he's, his weight's really good. Yeah, he's got just a wee little bit of cold in that eye, but he's okay. I got him on antibiotics. <clears throat> Moose asked a question up there I wanted to address before I get our total. Moose, what was that? Can you pop that on there again? His surgery, I don't know. We have to have him up there by 9. <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, Moose, can you pop that back up there? Oh, oh, ask how I found out about Ustream. A lot of you guys know this. Cindy, who is a friend of mine, uh, kept asking me if I want to get the rescue center on Ustream. I told her no. No, <laughs> I didn't give her any really good reason then. And so probably a week later, she asked me again. She thought we needed to be on Ustream to kind of broaden what we're doing here. And I said, no. And so she waited a little bit, and she asked me again, and she, and I said, no. And then I said, I don't even know what Ustream is. I was so embarrassed I didn't even want to ask. So she told me, and I thought about it a little while. And then I said, okay. It took her, it t Cindy was awesome. She worked her butt off figuring out how to do it. And, uh, yeah, I did. I gave in. I didn't really know what Ustream was at that time. Yeah, can someone pop up the, the email for, for Maine Coon? And so, and you guys all know this. The very first time that we had, I think it was like 12 people on there, I thought, holy mackerel, there's 12 people watching us. And then the first, I, I will never forget this, the very first time there was 25 I thought that was just phenomenal. I mean, how could 25 people out there want to watch this rescue center? Yeah. <laughs> CJ, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember, that's right, Stinky. When we first started, we had no sound, no sound at all. And then, and then when I wanted to kind of talk a little bit then, uh, I used paper plates. I would get the white plates out and, and uh, write notes to you all. And then I got a wipe off white wipe off board, and we would use that for a while. And then, what? Probably not more than a year and a half ago, maybe we went to sound. And at first, for you newbies, um, the sound was only on maybe once or twice a week, and just maybe for boxes. That's all we did. And then we gradually lengthened it to well, and that's when then boxes started arriving. And I remember one time we got a box and it was like, well, why don't we open this on cam? You know, it's the people out there that sent this, so we should open them on cam. And that opened up a whole new world for us. Now, we've had, we've had sound for, 
it's probably a year, year and a half maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cam used to be up higher, but you couldn't see the floor as well. What your first Weber donation was. I don't, but I'm thinking, Cindy, it was food. I think. Yeah, I think it was a year and a half ago. Yep. I think it was food, Cindy. Yeah. That was pretty cool. <gasps> Al Bantry! B Bantry! Oh, I think you're right, Bantry. It was Albert's movie. Bantry made a very, very, very special kitty here. The very first wooby we ever had here. And we still have that wooby here, Bantry. Yeah, and the rest is history. Well, let me go get our total. Let's go get it. Are you ready? Oh, peekaboo, I know. Uh, you know, when I knew things weren't going so good with Albert, I, was, I thought I was going to have to leave the country when I knew what was going to happen. That was a hard time. That was a really hard time. Yep. Okay, guys, this was last night. Yep, here it is, Kogo. This was last night. Da 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 da. We need a drum roll. Are you ready? Do 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 do. Look at that. It's almost almost two thousand. Let's say one thousand eight hundred or so. Isn't that awesome? This is you, you guys out there. In two days. <laughs> Oh, boy, when I go in and pay our vet bill, my vet's going to look at me like, what? What happened? How did that happen? Pretty cool. We're starting out right. So here, let's do it this way. There's maybe somebody could get a double pick. Or a, whoops, let it focus. Somebody take it a quick shot of that for me. These are all PayPal's. So it's five, four, five, seven. It is. It means I can sleep at night. Don't know Bravo surgery amount yet. They're not going to give me any idea, a real idea, until, thanks, Pika, until after the surgery to really know. They're not really, really sure. Yeah, pretty cool. Da, 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 da. Awesome. And this is from you folks. This is from you folks. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. All smiles today. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, and speaking of kitties, we have we have two new ones in there. I don't think you guys know about yet. Got 
news about the orange cat here? Harry? Yeah, thank you, Skeetikin. And thank you to our mods. You guys are awesome. Um, this, no, it does not earth eyes. No, I haven't gotten the actual checks in yet. No, um, the two newbies that I'm talking about are not Bennett and Rosetta. Not Ro Bennett and Rosetta. Bennett and Rosetta are in June's room. Oh, we picked up and took her to the rescue center in Fort Wayne. Okay, well, I'm glad you rescued her, Eric. I'm glad you did. Bill did, that rascal. So, well, we have two new kitties. Um, <laughs> yeah, you do. You do, Val. Um, well, I'm glad you, oh, on Hannah Street, I'm glad you saved, saved the kitty. So we have two new kitties. I'll tell you real quick, and then i got to get in. I've got to set my alarm clock early tomorrow. Um, and that's what it's all about, Eric, making sure that they're safe and get a good home. Aw, thank you. Oh, Hargy's mom, hi. Uh, so these two new kitties. Um, Bill and Angie brought in one. I got to keep my kitty straight in there. Um, it's the tiger one, and it's it was just a little bit scared, but the more you pet it, it more it purrs, and uh, it it's kind of like one of those. Are we back on? Not recording. Are we back on, guys? Do you have audio and video? Okay, phew, good thing. So this, the kitty that they brought in is a brown tiger, and the backbone all shows, but the belly's really big. Um, we've wormed it once. We'll probably move it again tomorrow. And... Um, it's really a, it's going to be a nice kit, or it is a nice kitty already, and we'll, it looks pretty unthrifty, but it's going to be okay. And then the second kitty is, um, a little black, i got to find remember on that one. kitty and it has uh, I think that one is the one that just showed up out of nowhere on somebody's yard I think I'm gonna have to check my record black kitty and it has a little white here and a little white on the tummy a little little kitty probably as small as what meow is and it she too they're both girls she too is really um, skinny back with a big belly and uh, today we let them be together and they were sleeping together which was really really nice to see they get a lot of comfort from each other. Very wormy, very wormy bellies. So, um, yeah, they, it just means that they they really haven't got good nutrition and that probably mostly worms in the belly, you know, like a pot belly. So we can get rid of that. They're both girls, and they're going to be out there yet for another another day or two. I'm half afraid. Pump. From who? Oh, from one of those? Are you sure it was a tapeworm? Okay. Judy just said she found a big tapeworm in their pen, so we will worm them again for that tomorrow. Yuck. Do you want to know what the longest inches of tapeworm I ever pulled out of a cat? This is the trivia question of the day. <laughs> no. 
Yep, 36 inches. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, it just kept coming. <laughs> okay, I won't say any more. <laughs> I know, it's so sad. Oh dear, I know. So, Fair as Mads. I'm going to do Fair as Mads. Thank you, Gentle Song. I'm going to put stuff away. We'll keep our posters for tomorrow. And uh, we'll do another update tomorrow night. So, thanks everybody for being with us. <laughs> I like that, Maine Coon. And uh, thank you for being with us. And yes, I have seen that show, Cat. Or you mean the I must have? Or what is that one? I can't think of the name of that. Is the orange one? Whoops, gosh, so fast I can't read. Cats 101. Yes, yes, I like that. I don't get to watch it very often, but I like it. Yeah. Um. We can show you. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get Bennett and Rosetta out yet, though. Yeah, The Kitty from Hell is a good show, too. Uh, tomorrow I will be able to show you uh, the one that Bill and Angie found is called Tansy. Tansy, the black one, it will get a name probably off of uh, the name of Cat. So uh, we'll get those tomorrow. Yes, Tansy. Mm -hmm. Yep, thanks, Joe. Yep, I'm go I've got to clean up and then i got to go to bed. Tomorrow morning we have a meeting with uh, somebody from Defiance College is coming to set up uh, times for college students to come in and help us. That's tomorrow morning at 9.30. And then, let me tell you one more. Hey, hey. And that's it all I have for tomorrow. So, <laughs> all right, nighty night, everybody. Yep, I will get, I will get, yeah, med and bed. There you go. Yeah, she'll be okay. Um, did we get Rafaela in, do you know? She's in. 